Hey YouTubers, got uh, another game going on here against Ricky Caribar from, I don't know that flag at all, Dominican Republic. I have a good friend from there. They make a good beer in Dominican Republic called El Presidente, I think that's what it's called. Maybe I should pay attention here. I don't know what this is about. Huh. Um. I guess... Maybe we'll get some sort of a uh, Maroxy bind set up here. I guess this is kind of a Sicilian. Somewhat delayed. Perhaps I uh, shouldn't have allowed the knight to go there. I guess maybe I need to defend there so that I can... I don't really want my queen on d4. I'm okay with the bishop being there. Hmm. Alright, so now we have sort of a Svechnikov. I guess uh, a lot of times this knight comes here in that sort of a setup, and the bishop will go out here, and I'll try to trade those guys and uh, stick a knight in d5. Let's put a bishop here on e2 first, try to get castled. Obviously I can't move this knight yet. <clears throat> we'll castle as well. Probably going to play bishop g5 next. Maybe not anymore, I don't know. I guess he's probably going to try to put the knight on c5. That would be my guess. And should he do that, I'm gonna grab. I'm gonna grab. Hmm. Didn't really expect that. I guess he had to do that eventually. He gets rid of his good light squared bishop. Leaves me with this one, which kind of blows. Uh, I'm just gonna take here. Just gonna take here. <clears throat> So, should I play knight d5 now? I don't really want to. I'd like to trade these two pieces somehow. I don't really know how to do that though. I guess first we're just going to develop queen. Guards nicely there. I'm thinking maybe I'll route this bishop and try to come to here with it. I think that's my idea. It's nice especially since I'll get to come out here with tempo. But the bishop just does so much more on a4, I think, than it does on f3. I might even play f3 at some point. Continue on with my idea. Let's see. Uh, do I want to play b3 now? I kind of don't want to, because it sort of seems like that, uh, that bishop's a little bit uh, trapped. I do that. I don't want to play bishop b3. I can't really play bishop b4 or he'll just play a6. Um, I guess maybe I sort of almost have forced myself into this. We'll put the rook on the d file now. If he plays b6, maybe I need to put a rook on the c file first. That d pawn isn't going anywhere. I don't have to hit it just yet. But I do, I would like to protect that knight a bit more. I am, as I said, putting off getting a knight into d5. <clears throat> because I don't want him to be able to trade to trade that out. What's that about? Well, we'll go here. I shouldn't I guess I shouldn't be really so concerned with a6, because I have a pretty good control over the b5 square. So I don't think I should have any problems with that. Um, looks like he's going to try to go to town on uh, on the C file there. I wonder if I should move my king and play A3 just to make sure that that pawn is super secure. There's nothing really against it right now though. I don't want to end up in a situation with opposite color bishops. Which is exactly what would happen should I play... <clears throat> Excuse me. Should I play uh, knight d5? I'm looking at bishop b5. Maybe going to put it on a6. My idea being that uh, it'll stop him from tripling there. And I don't suppose I'm worried so much about a6. It could make this pawn weak in the long term. Okay, he does it. Let's see here. How can we harass this knight? Get him out of the way so that I can play knight d5 without having to worry. 
I might need to try to put this, I could try to put this knight on f5 to attack this pawn since b5 is not really available anymore. That's a possible idea. I suppose that since he's kind of focused over here, I might be able to try some sort of a kingside attack, which actually goes well with my putting the knight on f5. I want to go the knight to f5, what's the best way to get there? Probably here, here, and here. That's probably best. I think we'll go with that idea. Running very low on time and uh, low on better ideas. <laughs> F4 or B4 could be an idea sometime. Let's see. Oh, oh, that's annoying. Well, I guess we'll go here since we need to defend the F2 square. Yeah, I need to start worrying about uh, about B4 though. I am starting to kind of lose some control over that square. It's okay for now because if he plays it when I take I get the discovery. Uh, I guess we'll come up here. Yeah I'm really starting to get a bit concerned about B5. And he goes ahead and plays it. Oh, this is going to be a mate. No, it's not. I can block with the knight. But he's still going to get, I think, no, nah, not quite. It's just two rooks for the queen. But I have these pawns now, which are pretty boss. I need to play g3, get my king out so I can get my knight back out though. So we'll do that right now. I don't think he's really going to have time to double. And the bishop's protecting the knight, so doubling's not so tragic. Um, okay. Let's put the bishop right... Hmm. Where do I want to go with it? Gotta make a move. <laughs> Don't have time. I'm gonna lose this pawn now, though. For certains. For certains. Which uh, is a good chance I'll lose the other pawn now, too. Guess we have to come here. Uh, this is getting ugly. Uh, I can come out here now. Oh, lost on time. I needed to play a bit more quickly, but I think I was doing okay. But, man, he had a lot of pressure. Let's go back and look and see... After that uh, exchange, what could I have done better? I played this and after here. Man, I sure didn't want to come to C, or I sure didn't want to come to E2. Maybe I should have played this move. Yeah, but he's still, oh, because that keeps him out of C2 also. Is there anything he can do to, to bugger that idea? He might do this just as a sack because if I take he's gonna go here. Yeah, that that seems like an idea. Seems like a good idea actually. So if he did this, what would I need to do? Cause he's threatening to take it right now. I get oh, I can't move that. Man, maybe this is tougher than I thought it was. I almost now have to go here. And when he takes uh, oh, I can take back. I can, because if he takes, I take. Yeah, this probably would have been okay. I just gotta somehow get those pawns protected and get those guys going. That's a shame. Uh, interesting game, but uh, kind of a shame. Okay, well, that was fun. Hope you guys enjoyed that, and uh, we'll see you next time. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.